Hey guys, just wanted to do a quick video about the uh, new gear wheel that they introduced, along with the um, new emote wheel. Um, I don't like it at all, and I'm going to tell you why in a moment. It's a cool idea, and I, when I first saw it, I thought, hey, that's actually pretty cool. You can uh, basically put all your gear items that you want, and you can just select them, right? Well, there's several issues to this. First of all, the item changes position based on what you use last so if i used a see right now the squad shield recharge is up here right well say i want something else i want something over here i wanted to use an air support charge now if you see now it's down here now the shield recharge over here so nothing's ever really in the same spot twice so if you're in a hectic mission i you can you can use key binding still um obviously but uh for someone like me that doesn't really use key bindings on the keyboard and I don't really have very many buttons on my mouse, um, being able to actually visually, like, it's muscle memory, right? right? You, I learned, basically, I press Q, and I move my mouse a specific direction, and I could easily and quickly get the gear item I want. Now I can't do that. There's no muscle memory um, in this at all. You actually have to look at the icon or the name and actually do this or use keybinds. Now, the even worse thing is actually the emotes, because now, because this thing's so big, they had to shove the emotes onto a different tab. So I have to use my finger here, and then I have to use my pinky finger to hold down tab as I'm holding down Q to select the emotes. Now there's several issues with this. First of all, you cannot see the name of the emote um, at all unless you hover over it. So this is a little bit more tolerable because eventually if I, if I keep this pendulum Narda emote on here, eventually I can just move my mouse toward it. I'll learn that muscle memory. I'll eventually learn where that is. But unlike the gear wheel, it's just you, you can never really do that because everything kind of changes as you're swirling around. Um, so for some, I don't know why they did this, but I can't, it's hard for me to visualize in a mission. And it's actually kind of funny because I actually died in a mission doing an emote. I thought it'd be really funny to do an emote. I think it was like down here. And I forgot which one I did. So I was like, oh, so an enemy started attacking me. So I click this. I start doing another emote. I'm like, oh, shit. So I'm scrambling and then I die. I actually died because I thought it would be uh, really hilarious to do an emote. And then I died because I couldn't remember which one I just did. Eventually, I will learn how to do this. Even though I don't find it very intuitive to be able to use two. Hey, I have to hold down with two fingers just to be able to get to this menu. I don't really like that at all. Um, the gear wheel, I'm not really sure how they could honestly fix this. I guess lock everything. So no matter what, this shield recharger will always be right there when you open up the menu. I don't mind if, um, like, say, the synthesis scanner. Let's say I don't have the synthesis scanner on the main wheel here before it starts uh, zooming into the next section. I don't mind having to go... Q and then I rotate a certain amount and then I know exactly where it is every time because right now like I said you can't do that everything kind of rotates around as you're doing that and the more items you have the worse it is the more it'll basically randomize like if I, if I keep doing this you'll notice that some items eventually get back to the spot almost periodically you'll see the shield charger keeps going on the far right every every so often but that's still randomized enough to where it's not easy to actually just press Q and move your mouse. Um, so I don't really know how they can fix it, except for like what I said, just locking it. Um, so yeah, that's my opinions on the gear wheel. I thought it'd be cool at first, but it's kind of just an annoyance now. Uh, so yeah.